Welcome to day 2,415. Sharon Hornells from here documenting my journey. Originally, as I came online from the brick and mortar and corporate world of business, and then I just started using it as my vision was declining, I started to use it as a way to journal and keep track of what I was working on. So it's really like a video log of what's up, what's irritating me, what's making me happy and delighted, what's working, what's not working. I say the good, the bad, and the ugly because some days are just ugly in our lives and we figure out and deal with them as best we can and wake up the next day and start all over again. So today we're talking about decision making strategy for supersize your business. I'm sharing, this was number 26 of what I consider foundational strategies or systems or processes that businesses, no matter what industry you're in, you want to at least consciously consider having something in place or consciously choose not to, right? There's some things that just don't apply to our industry, depending on what industry you're in. I mean, there are so many different businesses and so many different industries that you can be involved in. There is no one size fits all. I'm a, an avid believer and fan in situational everything, situational leadership, situational uh, decision-making, situational uh, application of any tool or strategy. So today we're talking about decision-making strategy and I've learned over working with thousands and thousands of different people and businesses and sharing tons of different decision-making tools that the companies and the individuals, by the way, as well, because this applies to us as human beings, as well as to organizations that are trying to grow and build and supersize. Those that have a basic one decision-making framework that they use as a go-to in their organization are more agile, they make faster, better, quicker decisions, so they are more responsive to their customers' needs and to their internal customers' needs than other companies that just ad hoc, everybody does their own thing. Uh, I experienced that both in corporate America as well as owning my own businesses and then working with different businesses in different industries. Those that have a common language, a common, common core values, common mission, purpose, principles, vision, and everybody understands where they're going and what their part in that is. It's just having a solid foundation and framework. And maybe we need to talk about that. I don't think I talked about the vision strategy, but uh, that will go on my list. Uh, and then for supersize, not supersize your business, for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, we are on contribution. This entire month, we're talking about contribution. And today's challenge and action item is to pick an area of contribution growth that is either challenging us or that we want to apply our soap framework to. We're going to start applying our soap framework with the S tomorrow. We're using one person story, Mason story, number one, to come up with the area of contribution he wants to work on. And he actually used the soap framework to do that. He used the soap framework to come up with the area that he wants to soap, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got today. Uh, Mom's sick, so I'm helping out with her. If I can help you in any way, ask, ask, ask. That's what I'm here for. That's why I do this segment is just to share what is working, what isn't working. And keep in mind, there are things that work for me that won't work for you. And there are things that work for you that I couldn't get to work in a million years. Why? Because we're all different. We're all unique. We all have different skill sets and talents and abilities and levels of energy and how we apply things and follow through and are consistent and all those other great things. So always, whenever you learn anything from anyone, First thing is a gut check. Is that right for me? Does that feel interesting or something like something I want to pursue? Then take some baby steps toward it and see if you want to proceed with it and if it makes sense for you and you want to make it work. Don't take anybody else's thoughts, beliefs, feelings, strategy, ideas, and just run with them because they might be just the opposite of what you need right now. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.